Hello and welcome. I hope you're safe and well. Today's exciting episode. Yes, it's sewing patterns because mine are an absolute mess. So I get out, out all the jacket ones and sort them into some semblance of order. Just, you know, a tiniest amount of order. There's loads of Chanel style ones still to do. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect jacket. So when I do a fabric haul, I've taken to putting like some, a little stack of five or six um, sewing patterns in the way, um, like in between the fabric to make them sit nicely, which is adorable, but I've ended up with my patterns in an absolute mess. So yeah, after I finished the beading one, I was hoping to do a tweed jacket, but um, yeah, I didn't get around to that. I've still got loads of stuff to clean off the bench before I can do that. So... I decided to put more junk on my bench. I've got this big box of mixed up patterns. So I'm going to go through them all. There's some dress ones, some coat ones, some shirt ones, and lots of jacket ones in here. I'm going to divide and conquer. I want all the jacket ones because at the start of this year, I decided I was going to try all the jacket patterns that I've bought. Otherwise, what's the point of buying them? And yeah, so we're going to divide them all. And once I've got all the jacket ones, I'm going to put them into little stacks. So this is me just going through them. And oh, this I love this vintage blouse. It's um one of them looks like a little daisy, that sort of white one there. So cute. This one, I was hoping to embroider the bit around the opening, like the neckline. And oh, I just thought that one would make a good handbag. So, because I want just a plain, simple handbag to bead. And then the corset, I just bought them. Oh, warning, don't try this one. The illustrations are absolutely adorable, but the bodices just don't sit well. I guess maybe if you're wearing vintage underwear and, but yeah, no, it, they just don't look half as good. And, ooh, I love that jacket one. Ooh, two shirt ones. I might keep that aside because I do want to make a shirt dress using one of those ones. This is a gorgeous empire line dress, especially if you've got a big chest, um, you know, pretty big shoulders. It's a great, it just makes you look, it's really flattering. Ooh, and I've, I keep the capes out too. Moto jackets. I've got like three motorbike jackets. I've tried that one, so we'll put that one away. I didn't like it personally. I've tried that one too, but for some reason I keep it out. I must have forgotten. And yeah, that's one I haven't tried yet. That's kind of more like a shirt than a... Oh, I tried this one in um, Vlogmas, so December two years ago. I made this pale blue dress with um, red and white Christmas decorations over it. Oh, I still haven't tried this one. It looks cute and a couple of other birder ones. I haven't done that quilted one yet. It's, um, yeah, I don't think you can make it without doing the quilting and the quilting is kind of the weakest point of the whole thing. It exacerbates the weakness of tweed. So oh, I love this one. It's a very, very thick, heavy pattern though. So there must be loads of um, instructions in there. It's for the jacket and the coat and the skirt. So it's maybe it's just because all three of them are different normally when you get a pattern for like a dress and a coat in the same one you, you, you familiarize yourself with the technique in the dressmaking then you make the jacket or the coat and this is a coat but I want to make it in a in a um, jacket length and these ones I like the two shorter ones better although they're sort of designed to be worn with gloves like winter length elbow length gloves so they'd actually be quite cold but if you made it in a summer weight um, sort of fabric that might be nice and at this point all the sewing patterns start to topple over so I stop and put the dress ones away back in the box and keep out just the ones that I want oh I have made this dress it's incredibly flattering but it's sort of very figure hugging too so depends what you want I guess this one I've got two that I think they're either pirate or but if you just did the top section it would look like a military old-fashioned military jacket which I like so I'm going to keep that out and I'll just mock up the top section these ones look very Audrey Hepburn or Miss Maisel I like this one because it's got sort of a scarf collar thing that's detachable which I think is quite useful also flattering 
And this one, again, like they are coat ones, but I'll keep it out because I want to do a jacket length one. This, I just like all the different sleeves. And I love this little anorak one, the shorter, like the jacket version with the hood. I think that's cute. So this is me keeping out all the jacket ones, but I'm also keeping out a few coats that I'm going to make it a jacket length. And my big plan is, I know I can't do all of them individually, but I thought maybe I can do them in batches because people often ask me, is this one or like I've narrowed it down to these three. Oh, I love that shirt dress. And I use the sleeves a lot from this pattern. Haven't actually made this shirt dress as a shirt dress, but I've used all different parts of the pattern. So um, yeah, and people keep asking, me where did I get those pretty sleeves from it's that McCall's discontinued pattern so I'm not sure it's helpful and another corset I don't particularly want to make a corset but I do want to have corset patterns in case I ever do want to make a corset this one here I think would make an amazing bolero jacket so that's why I kind of but also the shirts are nice but yeah I thought sometimes I just buy a pattern because I like the lines and I want to modify the pattern to make it into a vintage style jacket. And this one, mm, the collar and the lapels, well, it's a double lapel. I don't know. And um, yeah, so now, oh, I love this one. But it's got a vintage bust that you need vintage underwear for. So it's going to need alterations. And I've got two different, um, like Jane Austen, or Regency era. Oh, I just did this one. So I'll keep, but I like the summer dresses. So maybe I'll do the summer dress out of that one because you can never have enough pullover dresses. They're so cute. This one you could technically make into a jacket. Oh, I love this shirt. It's very pretty. And, but the two, like the long shirts are so long. They're basically a mini dress. Anyway, this one is a nice classic one. And yeah, I haven't made that one yet. And this one is so Audrey Hepburn. I'm going to put that in my capes and ponchos pile because it's so beautiful. And this one, oh, I hate it when they make coats that are unlined. Like the whole point is that you're freezing. You want to line your coat, surely. So if I want to do that one, I'll have to draft my own. This one looks cute, except the sides go up the you know how shirts sort of go up at their side seam and I don't know I think that would be a little unfortunate on a dress but I like the vintage looking version of it this dress I made as a jacket and it was quite nice and then oh this is the moto jacket that I want to try most except when I do it I think I'll do because the sleeve is in um, several parts and there's a seam at the elbow which is just you need it if you're doing it in leather because leather comes in small parts but I think I'll redraft it slightly and make the whole length of the sleeve I think there's still an inner sleeve and an outer sleeve upper sleeve but yeah now these are technically shirts but I think this darker one here if you made that as a jacket it would look absolutely gorgeous so I'll keep that one out for that reason it's another bird a jacket this one yeah I think this is really good you get like loads of different patterns in the one um, envelope so I'll see if that's a good um, Chanel style jacket I don't know, it's something a little off about the shoulders, but we'll see. It's a nice, simple one. And because I just put so much beading on them and this, the baby doll one is a good length and this poncho just looks adorable, all different versions of it. And then I've got a whole stack, I've got like, uh, yeah, that one's not as much fun. Oh, this one here, it looks like a simple office blazer, but then the back of it has is pleated. So yeah, when I do it, I think instead of having a yoke that's plain and then the pleated two third, bottom two thirds, I'm just going to do the hole in plain and not have the pleated weird thing because I don't know, it makes it more like a shirt than a jacket. Anyway, so this one is too long, but I'll, they always have an altar line, so I'll just crop it at the altar line. Now, this is a doll's, out, um, it's a complete set of different doll's outfits, but if it's good, it like they're dolman sleeve jackets, if it's good, I'm going to scale it up to human size. So I like the green one with the hood. I like the little Chanel sets. 
and there's another one that's quite cute. And this is another office wear sort of one. It's very 80s or 90s or something, but I'll still try it. This one is another coordinates one, but I don't know. I kind of like the jacket in that one. This one is a blazer without a collar. So I've got a stack of blazers with collars and then I've got another stack of blazers without collars. So this is a blazer with collar. So it's a coordinates one and some of them are knits and some of them are using woven fabric. So the blazer is, I've checked, it's using woven fabric. So that's good. I don't really like using knits. With my layer cake dresses, I like to have um, a a pullover bodice and this one um I don't know I'll try them maybe I might try a different bodice on my layer cake dresses this one is so cute and that the bottom half I actually got, just bought a fabric like that so I think you have to do ties under the bust or a bit so in bits of elastic or something I don't know I'll get the instructions out and read that one this is just a plain top we'll put that in and this is those fake shirt tops but they're all different vintage um, collars and ruffles and things like that so I thought when I find a shirt pattern I like I can just apply all of these to it and this is just different sleeves so I don't know I was thinking maybe doing a summer bolero with big I think the pink ones are um, version view d I maybe do big bell-shaped sleeves I'm not sure and then we've got a Chanel style jacket with um yeah another birder one so and now at this point up uh, I've sorted a lot of the jacket ones, so I moved them to the back. They're all jackets, and yes, they are about to fall <laughs> shortly, but now I've just got some more, so a few dresses. I like that one, but it's, I don't know if it's too cult cultural appropriation y for a white person to wear. These two coats are absolutely glorious, but I think I'll do the mock up, just the top half of them. So mock them up as a jacket. They're just so chic and fabulous. This is a Gucci Chanel style one, but it's discontinued. So there's, it's um, a quilted one. So maybe there's something wrong with it. They don't often discontinue a, a Chanel style jacket or a Gucci style jacket unless there's a very good reason. So yeah, and these are some shirts, hats and uh, skirts, patterns are uh, that um, one there is really good but there's something weird about I've done it a couple of times but there's something weird about the seam allowance I think it's too narrow and they don't really um, state that in the instructions this dress I absolutely love the the top of it I think it'll be a really gorgeous summer um, jacket like if you turned it into a two-piece dress instead of a one-piece dress. This one looks too much like pyjamas. Oh, another hat one. This one, yeah, looks too much like pyjamas. I mean, if you made it out of a more structured fabric, it wouldn't, obviously. That one's adorable. And I spilt coffee on it. Fabulous. But yeah, I quite like that one. This one looks a little too wintry and bulky, I think. But I don't know. That one, yeah, I just don't have the shoulders for that one. But um, I've got a pile for historical and costumes. So I'll put those two in that one. This one's very Audrey Hepburn, Miss Maisel. But um, yeah, I've already done a dress like that. And I think, yeah, I don't really want to do any coats at the moment. I might save them for Christmas time. We've nearly divided and conquered them all. But oh my gosh, that pile is looking precarious, isn't it? Yeah, it does fall. Um, some of them do slide off. Anyway, these puffy sleeves are interesting. Another, I think these are all, oh, the Gucci, the other Gucci one. I like the black and white one, but it's got pockets on it. And um, and the skirt is a nice simple skirt. So if you can't figure out what a simple skirt would be just by sort of cutting things into strips. This one, I don't know why I bought it. I don't like it. Oh, I think I like the trousers. Mm, I don't know. I think I leave that out. This is a nice blazer with a uh, collarless one. This is nice. I don't like the tie in it, but it's nice. Those trousers are fabulous there. She just looks so good in that, but I don't think I have the frame for it. You sort of have to have the big shoulders to make that look work. But I do love the trousers, so I think I might 
make them, but at another time. This dress is weird. These are both the same, exact same dress, but you like pull a cord and it goes up to a short dress. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out yet. And this is a pea coat. We'll keep that one out. And then like millions more blazers. How many blazer patterns does someone need? Um, this one's sort of a kimono style coat length jacket over um, house coat or something. So I think I'll do that as a jacket length, just the mock up. This is a nice shirt dress, but I think a cap sleeve is a tricky one to pull off. I don't think they really look flattering on anyone. They're comfortable, but I'm not sure that they're actually flattering. Again, it's a sort of kimono style one. We'll keep that out. Beautiful shirt, but not for now. I'm just trying to get the jacket ones. Another dress. I think that one's nice too. Not so great. I thought I was going to make that in a shirt length. This one has good, this um, blazer has good bones. If you want to do a Dior style bar jacket, I think this is a good start base pattern that you could easily alter into that. This one looks like a good, if you're going to a wedding as a guest, I think that's a good outfit to make. And then, yeah, I don't know why they made that up in the the actual line drawings are okay, but I don't know why they made it up in that see-through fabric. This is an anorak, so a hoodie sort of jacket, and I think I've got three or four of those. So I might do – my thinking is that I'll do – instead of just doing one episode per jacket, I'll get four or five that are similar to each other, and I'll just spend the day making all of them. And then I'll do a jacket review rather than a step-by-step, -step, this is how I made it. I'll just sort of talk you through the, um, the steps that I did. And then I'll just do a review of all the jackets and say, this one's good because the shoulders are good. This one's good because it's got good cuffs, that sort of thing. Or this one had really clear instructions, whereas this one was incredibly difficult to follow. So I think if I do like, f I don't know, about five every, I think I worked it out to 16 piles. So if I do mm, like a batch every second weekend, that will sort of, I'll be able to get through them by the end of the year still. And I won't have to do an, a, an a video for every single one, which I don't know, I'm not sure how riveting they are, but also it's it's so time consuming to put take up the camera and film every single step. Yeah, I think it's also more informative to do jacket reviews of ones that you've, you know, if you've actually made them, then I think that's more useful as well. So now I'm just taking you through the various piles. That's the office blazer, office wear sort of ones, the Gucci ones, the vintage jackets. Oh, I like this pile. And uh, yeah, oh, they, they're not very similar though, are they? But they are all vintage and people do tend to look for vintage jacket rather than a certain silhouette when they're looking. So yeah, I, I think that's a good way to do it. I mean, I could group them by a brand, like do five Berta ones, do five Simplicity ones. But I think it's more useful to do like blazer with collar, blazer without collar, Chanel style jackets, moto jackets, because I know some people are really, really loyal to certain brands. Like, yeah, but I also think, I don't know, if you're looking for a motorbike jacket, you're looking for a motorbike jacket, <laughs> regardless of um, what, you may have a preference for one brand, but if you find a better silhouette in another brand I think you would still consider it so yeah I think that's what I'm going to do the things that I've divided them into so these are the Chanel style jackets that I'm thinking of grouping together I'm not sure I'm going to do that quilted one the red one on the right that top one I'm not sure it's worthwhile doing that one because the whole point is the quilting. Quilting Rex tweed and it weakens the seams. So yeah, it like makes the seams the weakest part of the jacket. Either you respect being told that or you completely ignore it and learn it the hard expensive way. And there's only so many times you can say the same thing. So I think I'll just avoid 
the disaster ones that I know are going to be a disaster. And I think I've already done that one. So I'll take that one out as well. But the rest I'll do. And I've got another batch of summer jackets, like cotton reversible jackets, that I've already started tracing out. So they're in a separate pile in a different box. So I just sort of left them where they were because some of them are traced and some of them are about to be traced. So I was like, they're in a very specific order. So I might do either Chanel, a batch of Chanel jackets first or a batch of the summer ones first and then because there's just yeah and there's so many blazers I didn't think I had quite so many blazers Ugh, I just want to make Chanel style jackets out of my tweeds I've got a whole bunch of designs lined up the inverted red triangle they're going to be a collection within the collection of my jackets and I've worked out what the next like five or six are going to be so I think what I'll do is this month has like four weekends in it left. So I think I'll do every, I'll do at least two batches of these mock-ups of patterns I haven't used before. And we'll see how that goes. It's really just one day each, every fortnight. So it's not that much sewing time, putting aside that I won't be able to work on my beaded jacket. So we shall see. So that's it for this episode. I'm thinking Chanel style jackets are what get requested the most and the summer jackets because it's summer. So yeah, but if you have any desperate, you desperately want to see any particular pattern, let me know. I think I will do the occasional one where I go, go step by step. But for the most part, I think batch sewing them and doing reviews in batches is probably more useful so that's the kind of thing that I would want to see. Oh, those ones are cute, but I think I might save them for more of an autumn month and just do the summer and the Chanel ones now. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed having a glimpse of all my patterns and seeing what's going to be coming up soon. I still have the batch review of the last five Chanel style jackets that I did or last five jackets that I did. Um, that I haven't done the, I made them, but I didn't do the review of which bits I liked of each. So I still have that episode to do as well. Honestly. Oh, I love that one. Well, I am going to go now because I am hoping that I can clean up. Oh my gosh, I just put beads everywhere and I've got a stack of um, fabrics over there. Yeah, I filmed a couple of fabric hauls. So I'm going to clean away all that, clean away my workbench, and hopefully I will be able to make an entire twee jacket before I get to the first batch of these jacket patterns I have not tried yet. So I'm going to rush away and do all those sort of things. Oh, I love this vintage Vogue one here. It's so beautiful. Yes definitely going to do some of the vintage ones. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I am going to go make a Chanel style jacket in coral, teal, white and blue. It sounds hideous but it's going to be fabulous. Thanks again for watching and happy sewing. <laughs>